Well, another windy day in the desert. At least the sun is coming out, so I'm going to take a hike for a couple hours and see what I can find for photography opportunities. I gotta say, not only is the father-in-law trying to kill me, this country is trying to kill me. Since we got here, I have a very simple infection, skin rash. And uh, it's been getting worse and worse for five days. So finally my wife spent four hours on the phone last night to get me some antibiotics. And we kept getting disconnected and oh, what a... Anyway, I finally get on the phone, see a doctor via internet, you know, through the phone. And she tells me the same thing my wife already tells me. My wife is a doctor. And uh, yeah, okay, send me some antibiotics. Well, we get them sent down to the Rio Rico Pharmacy. That was an adventure in itself trying to find this place. I get down there and it's closed. Closed for two days. I might not make it back to Canada. Well, at least the sun is out and we do have good clouds. So that might mean a nice sunset tonight. Storm is coming! I can see it! <laughs> Should I run? I don't know! <laughs> oh, here comes the rain! I should have ran while I had the chance. Well, five days in, I must be improving because I am running up one big hill right now. <laughs> I gotta get my camera gear back to the house before this thunderstorm breaks full on. The rain is hitting me right now. B, I guess, is that we can go for a drive. I made it back. It's raining pretty good. I guess driving beats sitting around the house. I'd rather be out looking for something to photograph than I have no idea where any of these roads go or which one's just dead end out in the middle of really rough terrain. So <laughs> I do have four wheel drive in this Jeep, thankfully. Oh, a rainbow. Look at that. The end of the rainbow is on the house we're staying at. <laughs> How cool is that?
couple of deer just took off down there. It's a pretty big drop off right there. They just went down over the edge. I've been looking for one with horns all week. Hopefully it doesn't charge. He seems amicable, he's going that way. You know it's a slow day in Arizona when Gary has to get out and shoot the cows. <laughs> Nothing else to photograph, just cows. I've actually been looking for one with the horns all week. The kids keep telling me, yeah, we've seen one this morning. This is the first one I've seen, so I had to get out and shoot it. It was pretty friendly. We could let the rain put a damper on my trip, but why? There's so many gorgeous things to shoot. Rain on the mountains looks beautiful. So I'm just going to drive around and be happy with every photograph I get. I know the other night it was dark and you guys couldn't see these roads. Maybe uh, now you get a better idea of the up and down that I'm talking about. It's it's crazy steep curves, you know, little dips. Uh, it's like a roller coaster. I love it here. It's amazing though. It's beautiful. Probably one of the only places in my life where in an automatic vehicle I've actually geared down and there are places here in these mountains where our first gear <laughs> is your friend it's that steep this is where we need to come at night to take the photographs of the lights of Rio Rico and Green Valley I can see both sides of the road 
have great big open valleys like that that we can see for miles. And on that side of the road down there is Rio Rico. So we can see Green Valley, two back, Rio Rico. This is the road that we need to take our night photography on. The other road I had plants and cactuses and everything up in front of me. This one's clear. It wasn't a total waste having a rainy day. We have our bearings. We know where to come now. I feel like I have a better understanding of these roads. Much easier to see in the daytime. Well, I just met the nicest lady. I turned around in her driveway and she started waving me down and I thought there was something wrong. She said, you don't want to come and visit? <laughs> so I chatted with her for about 10 minutes. She told me the names of all these mountain ranges and you know, where you could see a dog's head here and an elephant's head here and I don't know. <laughs> I don't see any of them, but <laughs> she said she knows she's crazy. And I said, oh, maybe, <laughs> but friendly people down here anyway. All right, you guys enjoy the photos. I'm gonna be taking that winding road back up into the mountains. I'll catch you in the next adventure. When in Arizona, share the road. <laughs>